NATO's unity will be tested at summit in Vilnius. Washington, AP, as the Russian invasion of Ukraine continues with no end in sight, NATO's much-celebrated unity faces fresh strains when leaders gather for their annual summit this week in Vilnius, Lithuania. The world's biggest security alliance is struggling to reach an agreement on admitting Sweden as its 32nd member. Military spending by member nations still lags behind long-standing goals. And an inability to compromise over who should serve as NATO's next leader forced an extension of the current Secretary-General's term for an extra year. Perhaps most thorny are questions over how Ukraine should be eased into the alliance. Some maintain admitting Ukraine to NATO would be the fulfillment of a promise made years ago and a necessary step to deter Russian aggression in Eastern Europe. Others are fearful it would be seen as a provocation that could spiral into an even wider conflict. Bickering among friends is not uncommon, and the current catalogue of disputes pales in comparison to past fears that Donald Trump would turn his back on the alliance during his presidency. However, the challenges come at a moment when President Joe Biden and his counterparts are heavily invested in demonstrating harmony among members. Any fissure, any lack of solidarity provides an opportunity for those who would oppose the alliance, said Douglas Lute, who served as U.S. ambassador to NATO under President Barack Obama. Russian President Vladimir Putin is eager to exploit divisions as he struggles to gain ground in Ukraine and faces political challenges at home, including the aftermath of a brief revolt by the Wagner mercenary group. You don't want to present any openings, Lute said. You don't want to present any gaps or seams. By some measures, the Ukraine conflict has reinvigorated NATO which was created at the beginning of the Cold War as a bulwark against Moscow. Members of the alliance have poured military hardware into Ukraine to help with its ongoing counteroffensive, and Finland ended a history of non-alignment to become NATO's 31st member. I think it's appropriate to look at all the success, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Kentucky Republican, said in an interview with the Associated Press. So I think the invasion has strengthened NATO, exactly the opposite of what Putin anticipated. He noted Germany's shift toward a more robust defense policy as well as other countries' increase in military spending.